egg and boiled eggs and now we're about to go all the way across the river. Six five one twenty five one twenty five one two fifty. Two fifty. I can go and get some wipes. My favorite drink. You hear me? Well, not really favorite. I just got it for right now. I got this my drink and this Megan drink. Bye. I never had this before. Bye. It's called bye. You gotta go to the park. You hear me, love? Five hundred. I'm sorry. Can I get change for two hundred dollars instead? I don't have enough cash in my register for that. Oh well. Uh, can I just get change for fifty? Like, girl, we get it. You got money, okay? Go to the bank. We made it. Make I got the blanket in the chair. That's our camp right here. This is gonna be a mini mukbang because a mini mukbang, Jamel told me he ain't want nothing to eat. So I only got this for myself and now he told myself we're gonna do a mukbang. So I guess he's gonna eat my food now. So we got turkey neck, yeah, boiled egg, and we only have two pounds of crawfish. So one time y'all, let me tell you about the time I broke out in hives. I just got too overheated. When I get too overheated, I start getting balls in my face. I broke out into the, uh, the elephant man. I call it the elephant man because what happened, and I just look bad. If that was to happen again, God forbid. Megan will not be seeing me. Oh, why weeks. not? My face will be bumped up. I'll be too up. So my face bump up all the time. I got a big old bump on my cheek right no, now. No, you never seen elephant man. I wish I could find a picture so I could put it up here on the screen. Tell me five things you know about me. Facts about Jamel. He does not go anywhere without earrings or chains. He's very OCD. He has to clean his room before he goes anywhere. What? His favorite genre in movies is Christmas or like holiday themed movies. I don't really like watching like crazy scary movies because that don't, I mean, it's not supposed to put you in a certain mood, but I just don't feel like I'm in the best of moods to even watch any of that stuff anyway. I always want to be in the happiest mood possible. His favorite movie is um, Home Alone. You probably want some food. Why is looking at us? They ain't looking at me. I'm gonna throw this thing at it. I don't abuse animals. I'm just telling, I'm just giving them a warning. I ain't saying nothing about nothing. Facts about Megan. She is a baby. This is Megan's real hair. What's the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning? <laughs> the glasses off. <laughs> One of my all time favorite movies. <laughs> I literally cry every time I see this. Every time you see a movie, you cry, so that just literally. Okay, well, what's my favorite style me? of things I like to watch? Horror, anything dealing with crime, somebody killing somebody. What's my favorite? TV show on Netflix. Orange Black? No. Is it the one now? Now? The one you and my mom was talking about? No. What's your favorite movie? You don't even know. I told you I love the Titanic. Ah! Please, man. Stop. <laughs> okay, but Come I told it. you my favorite show. You said the favorite show is what you call it? It changed every time, just like mine. No. Riverdale. Riverdale? You got Riverdale? What's that other one called? You got three, four of them. What's the other one called? He's right, y'all. I'm very undecisive. I like everything. Alright. What's my favorite Get clothes? together, bro. What's my what's my favorite? Alright, what size shirt I wear? Medium. That's a lie. I wear large. That's a lie because I buy you mediums with everything I use. And they fit small. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'll kind of do you. Alright, now what size my shoe is? Let me show you. You wear 10. I don't. I wear nine and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you. That's wrong. I wear 10 in some shoes, but my main shoe size is a nine and a half. That's a lie. That's not a lie. How you gonna tell me? You know, none of your shoes is a nine and a half. None of my shoes are nine and a half. When I go back to the house and I show the camera, it's not gonna be a nine and a half. It's gonna be an old shoe. I think that's it. You're good. Thank you. Yeah. Now. All right, y'all. We finally finished me, the food. Let me take this off so I can look. I think right I'm about now. to stop the recording because it's been 27 minutes. I'm gonna have to edit this. So we're gonna come back to y'all when we go in the car. We're probably gonna get some some type of dessert Wait, or something like on. that. What? Oh, we're gonna get ice cream, definitely. Right. Wait, maybe I should have taken my glasses off. This is gonna stop recording. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Let's do a mukbang. Well, let's just do it. We just came from the park. We just finished going live on TikTok, y'all. We are about to go get ice cream, even though it's freezing cold. Where are you want to get ice cream from? <laughs> What's the name of that spot was? Creole Creamery. We are on the way, finally, to Creole Creamery. I had to do a quick ad for BottomlessSouls.com. Get your shoe covers. I got mine on right now. Ha ha, keep my shoes clean. We made it to Creole Creamery. This one was $13, though. Uh -huh. It's doing good, though. I got Cookie Master and I got King Cake. What you got, Megan? King Cake. I don't eat that good. If you wrote a memoir about your life, what would it be called? Nonchalant. Ooh, miles will be recovery. It'll be recovery because no matter what life puts you through, you always recover. We both got good ones. Oh. Not, not every recovery. Oh, we on the song. We on the song. What fictional world would you want to travel to for a date? Narnia. Where is it? Don't disrespect Narnia like that, son. Wait, where is it at? <laughs> what is 
Who is that? Mine would be Alice in Wonderland. Not better than Narnia. Narnia. Uh, you don't see Narnia? Narnia is the best movie ever. What room in your house most represents who you are as a person? My closet. No, for sure, my closet. It ain't my house, and it definitely ain't the way I would want it to be. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. How clean a person are you? Very clean. Jamel is OCD. My room got clothes everywhere. What is a pet peeve that you have? But back and be leaving the blasters on my uh on every part of my room. The blasters be everywhere. That's a pet peeve, for real? Yes, she leaves them lashes. They be looking like spiders. I'll be like, ah. I was forgetting that she got <laughs> lashes and all that. Like that. <laughs> My pet peeve is, I can't stand when people complain about other people's lives. Because I do that. I complain about so much stuff, but then I just got to realize, you know, like, making you guys your own life. Right. So I do my own pet peeve, so I be having to catch myself. What behavior do you do that is most likely a pet peeve to others? <laughs> when you say, huh, huh. Huh? And you can hear and it's only me and her in the room. No, what say, do huh? you do that is a pet peeve to others? Not oh. me. Oh, um, being honest not to certain stuff. Some stuff that... To everything. Uh-uh. To some stuff that we talk about. So we talk, we talk about some, one thing that's like off and making her like it, she gonna start going off and I don't feel like hearing all that, so... Yeah. Right. What I do that I think is a pet peeve is that I take so long to get to the point. Boy, that's horrible. <laughs> man, I know I be blowing people with that. Cause I be like, damn, man, you ain't, you ain't get to the point yet. And this just takes so long to answer. Somebody call a name or ask a question. Yeah, Megan, how was such and such? I don't oh, take yeah, that it long. Was, oh yeah, it was. Uh, what phrase or word do you overuse when you talk? And I say for those a lot. Yours is what? Who? That's a who? lie. Who? Oh, I just say who? Who? <laughs> who? 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 And with his little stupid uh, noises he be making, it don't even be words, it just be noises. <laughs> like, dude. If, if you could only eat at one restaurant for the rest of your life, what would it be? I mean, Rue Chris. I do Rue Chris. I probably do like, I do like salt grass. Salt grass? Because they're very versatile on all their foods, so I have like options for everything. Okay. Rue right. Chris has a very limited menu. We just came from Ross. They can gotta lift you essentials for the bathroom. But it was a clear shower curtain? Yeah. yeah. And shower rides. And shower rides. Hey, now I have one more stop to make, you guys. Where are you stopping at? I gotta go to Dollar Tree. What'd you get from Dollar Tree? <laughs> Cause we rolling on the budget. I mean, I could easily go to Target, but you know, we're gonna go. What you getting? My pill organizer. Oh, okay. Megan is uh, taking her um, self-care stuff more seriously. She's gonna start, you know, like, Literally keep it up with her pills that you want to take as far as vitamins, you know, et cetera, All et cetera. my supplements. Yeah, Get it totally. together, Jamel. Supplements. Totally, totally. So we're going to get back with you guys when we go to the store. We ended up coming to Target. Made it back to the crib. Finna go inside. Great day. Totally. Yes, so I hope totally. that y'all enjoy this vloggy vlog. Vloggy vlog number one. This is our first vloggy vlog, man. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that we can continue giving y'all these awesome videos, these amazing pranks, and you know, everything.